All right, so attacking and battle outcome inside of Empires and Generals is a little bit different than your average board game. In an average board game, everything happens inside of one area, typically a square, where this force meets this force and all is over in the end. In Empires and Generals, you have an area called the War Camp. Your War Camp, the opponent's War Camp. If you damage that War Camp, then you're damaging that opponent. Anything that happens inside of the battlefield usually just results in the battlefield carnage. If Soldier A comes out, and your opponent Soldier B comes out. You're attacking each other, they both die. Nothing happens really to you as the player. You're not going to lose any cultural health because this guy gave his life for you. But, if you don't have any soldier, and he's coming at you hitting your war camp directly, he's hitting you personally. He's inflicting collateral damage, he's inflicting damage to you as a person, as your opponent. And for the game mechanic, yes, you're going to take a cultural health point loss for that attack. Even if he has a character of 1,000 attacking you, you're only going to get one point taken off. So, it's pretty cool. Uh, for the game mechanic, I decided to go that way because basically separation of war happened uh, in the old times. You had a hill full of guys over here, a hill full of guys over there. The valley, that's where it all happened.